I am Janice Padua, graduate of MMA Batch 2019, and I am the featured artist for the month of July. My field of expertise as a multimedia arts graduate is digital art and as for how I got interested in it, I've been pretty much drawing like since I can properly hold a pencil. I've been doing digital art for like a really long time. I think I got my first graphics tablet when I was around 14 on my 14th birthday and my parents were always really supportive of it because they were also in the creative um, industry. They were graphic designers and photographers. So it was always an interest for me because I was always exposed to that kind of work. I was publishing a webtoon, which is basically a comic that is designed for a mobile view. I was doing that for a while, for um, maybe a, a year or so, and I was applying the things that I was learning in multimedia as I was going. I had amassed a couple of thousand subscribers for that, but I had to take it down because I was pretty unsatisfied with my art style at the time, and I do plan on continuing it one day, maybe when I have more time. After graduating from multimedia arts, I did try my hand at regular work, like day jobs, but I realized that a lot of the graphic design or illustrator, illustration related jobs here in the Philippines don't really pay that well, so I've decided to just stay with freelancing because it's easier and it pays more and the best part of it is that you can choose when you want to work and when you want to take days off. So I grew up reading a lot of manga and watching a lot of anime. So most of my major influences come from manga and anime. Some of them, to be specific, are mangaka like Nakamura Asumiko, Zack, as in Z-A-K-K, -K, and Yana Toboso. I looked it to a lot of artists, but I would say that those three are the most, um, the biggest influences in my art style. My professors in college were also a big influence for me because without their guidance and their encouragement, my work wouldn't be what it is right now. And also my friends in college also inspired me a lot to be better because we were always engaged in friendly competition and I think that it's in a way really healthy and helpful in improving one's work. I think that as artists we are constantly evolving and growing with our environments so there's this um, struggle, there's this pressure to always improve, to constantly be improving and a lot of times you will feel as if you're not accomplishing that, you'll feel as if you're lacking in some ways and I think that is definitely something that is you know, a big struggle of mine and a lot of times I'll be looking at my artwork and be like, wow, this is ugly. <laughs> I don't remember it being this ugly. Am I getting worse at art? But the thing is that I'm not getting worse at art. It's just that my standards are getting better. They are moving faster than my actual improvement in art. But I think it's very important to just try to be productive and improve as much as you can instead of brooding over things that you can't control. Something that 
I wish I'd been told as a younger artist is that you shouldn't let your desire for originality and uniqueness to hinder your improvement. As artists, we all want to be unique in a way. We all want to have a unique art style. But when you're learning, it's not, it's something that you don't really have to focus on as much. Having a unique art style is something that you learn as you go. It's not something that you have to pressure yourself to do when you're just beginning. And I think that a mistake that a lot of young artists make is trying to be as unique and as polished as possible before even knowing the fundamentals of drawing. And lastly, I don't think you have to worry too much about being distinct at this point because as long as you keep creating, you will keep evolving and eventually your art style will become something that is unique only to you. Once again, I am Janice Padua. I am a graduate of MMA Batch 2019. You can find me on social media. I am mega shooto everywhere. And lastly, thank you Limax for having me. It was an honor and a pleasure to be doing this for you. Um, thank you for choosing me as your featured artist of the month for July.